Now we've had some really interesting discussions in on the show this morning, so we are short on time, but the firefighting chef, Paul Knapp, is back in the kitchen with some granola bars. Good morning to you, Paul. Morning, guys. How are you? Thanks for having me back. Yeah, so uh, Monday morning, thanks very much. So it's actually a really quick dish to put together, which is really handy, Great. since the time we've got. All of the ingredients is up on Ireland Am's Facebook page, as well as the Virgin Media One's website. So the key ingredients this is porridge oats, okay, which most people have at home. Okay. So there's 200 grams of that go in. Also, then I'm putting in some nuts and seeds. So I've got some sesame seeds have gone in there as well. I've got some sunflower seeds going in there too and I've got some chopped nuts so any nuts that you might have left over pecans walnuts and stuff like that great source of omega 3s and omega 6s and all we do is we're literally just going to bake that literally for about 10 minutes about 180 we chuck that in there and what you'll get is you'll get some lovely toasted and roasted toasted oats yeah so that's what we want nuts, we want to get yeah. that kind of yeah Gorgeous. so we're trying to build into that those lovely toasted flavors and we're going to pop that into a bowl I didn't know you could toast the porridge oats as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, just be careful. There's, there's a fine line between toasting and burning. Okay, okay. so you would need to keep so an eye. So 10 minutes. Absolutely, yeah. So what we've got here then is into a, uh, a pot, I've just melted 100 grams of plant-based butter. You can use real butter if you wish. I've got 100 grams of muscovado sugar, and I've got then three tablespoons of maple syrup. So what we're getting is that kind of caramelly, kind of mm. toffee flavours going on there. And all we do is we melt that down. Just okay. low and slow. Low and slow. And then all I'm going to put in there is some berries of your choice. So there is 100 grams of cranberry, and I'm just putting in there is a teaspoon of um, cinnamon, okay? So that's going to help regulate your blood sugars Beautiful. and stuff like that, all right? So what are the... To talk to the seeds quickly, sorry. Pumpkin seeds? Pumpkin seeds, or sesame seeds. You can put any seeds in there you want because all okay. seeds and nuts are a great source of omega-3s and 6s. Really, really Absolutely. important yeah. for a healthy... And particularly, if you don't have time to make breakfast or make um, porridge in the morning, stick it into the microwave, these, this could be a great alternative. Could make it? these, make these up. Like you, you can make these. These will make about twelve bars. You can make these. These will keep for about three or four days in an airtight container, okay? And then you can actually freeze them as well. So you could double max, double batch this. Right. Pop it into the freezer. Keep some uh, in a jar and stuff like that. Great to pop into kids' school lunches and things like this. And all we do is just bring all of this together, okay? So what we've got is we've got that sweet kind of sugary hit from the maple syrup. Maple syrup. And yeah. then what we've got is that slow release carb from your porridge oats and stuff like that into a lime so, tray. Like. You have the maple syrup in it, of course, yeah. but, like, relatively healthy. Oh, absolutely, yeah, of course it is, yeah. And I think people, th like, we kind of get scared by the word of fat, but there are essential things that we need. Like, we need omega-3s and 6s. We can't eat, we can't kind of make them in our bodies, so we have to ingest them or eat them as such, so omega-3s, omega-6s. There are good fats that we need in our body, and, again, sh sugar and syrup, we have minimised. We can control the amount that we put into this rather than buy the bar that you don't know what's into it. With this, we actually can control it. So we give oh, this a so good as press. opposed to buying it in the petrol station, whatever where yeah yeah there could be a bit more sugar or absolutely. whatever else in yeah, it, where this is actually fail to i mean and that's it that, like that's this is quick and simple into an oven i Again. mean i said we have no time we have more time this but yeah okay, I'm I'm slowly. into no. the oven uh, <laughs> into the oven uh, about 180 degrees for about 20 25 minutes okay right. so that will go into the oven and then what you do is once you take these out these will cool down ever so slightly a little bit. What you'll get, I don't know if you can get like a shot of these. So what you've got then is you've got this lovely kind of started to brown off. As we said there, I put 100 grams of cranberries into this, but you can switch. Keep the 100 grams about the same, but maybe switch 50-50. 50 cranberry, 50 raisin, 50 cranberry, 50 goji berry. A bit of white chocolate or I something put some, in there? You can put white, I put some dark chocolate in those ones as well there. So that's these ones yeah, here. These absolutely. are dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Again, dark chocolate's good. It's good mood food as well. So what we do, leave that to cool down for about 10 minutes before we take it out of this. Yeah. Otherwise, it will start to crumble. Make sure it's compacted before you cook it, otherwise it starts to crumble. Then leave it on a wire tray for about sort of 10 minutes so it's really cooled down. And then you can cut it up into those bars and serve it with a cup of tea. And again, it's a cup of tea and a biscuit, how bad? Look at that green tea. Mm, they are delicious. You like them, do you? Mmm, really, really tasty. Pull an app, the firefighting chef. This will keep us going for the rest of the day. Cheers, and mate. Bern, you're sorted. Thank you very much no for joining us.